Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and today I'm going to be talking about 13 items that you need to keep in your car to keep you lucky this winter season. Stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So those of you who watch a lot of my videos, you know that I wear multiple different hats. And just to illustrate this analogy, I have the hats with me. So I have the uh, military hat, and this kind of helps me when uh, talking about, you know, survival or tactical types of things, um, as well as just, I don't know, just maybe training in general and emergency uh, preparedness. I, I do some stuff with that on... Uh, uh, some of my additional duties. Uh, the next hat that I wear is my budget bug out. This is my gear reviewing hat. So I re review a lot of gear um, when it comes to outdoor uh, types of things, um, even emergency situations or survival. Uh, all those types of topics, I review those. And then the last hat, although it isn't technically a hat, um, it's, it's a vest, but uh, I'm an emergency. Uh, so I'm a disaster preparedness instructor, right? Uh, with, with the Red Cross. And that's something that I it really enjoy. I, I go around and, and talk about how to be better prepared for natural disasters and emergency situations. So uh, today I'm going to be kind of using all those different hats and uh, combine them into this video. I felt bad that I didn't do this last year. Um, my, my, my friends and family, we were, they were asking me for advice. Uh, they're experiencing uh, harsh winter conditions. So I wanted to go ahead and while winter is coming and it's just around the corner, um, I wanted to get this video out there so that you guys could be better prepared. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, these are the 13 lucky items, like I said. The first one is going to be a cell phone charger. Um, now, a lot of y'all might have uh, car chargers for your cell phones. Remember that batteries, the car batteries, love to die in winter months. I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, actually, I'm sure there's science behind it. But um, you might not be able to charge your phone um, if your car battery is dead um, with your car charger. So make sure that you have a portable cellular uh, charger. Make sure you have a, one of those little bricks or whatever. And I'll be leaving uh, links for all these items in the description box down below for you guys' conven convenience. Uh, the next thing is a first aid kit. Especially if you have kids. Um, I used to be a youth pastor and one of the kids was, uh, we were all out, uh, you know, playing tag or whatever game that I, uh, that, that we were playing and uh, this kid basically just kind of ate it on the concrete and uh, fortunately I had my uh, my first aid kit with me and my CPR training and all that kind of stuff although it wasn't that bad um, I didn't, nobody almost died or anything but you know having that kit was, was, was great you know got him cleaned up managed up and he's good to go and he, uh, he was able to impress all of his friends with this with this scratch, <laughs> and uh, but you you guys, if you have kids or even if you don't have kids, uh, make sure you have a first aid kit. It's um, it's a good thing to have. I've used it myself. <laughs> One time I was reviewing knives and I caught myself and I had to use a first aid kit from from my car. So um, be sure you have those. Uh, next thing is jumper cables. Uh, a lot of y'all have seen this, especially y'all have been driving for a while. Uh, you, you, your car, either yours or your friends and people are asking who has jumper cables do you have jump? I don't have them I, do, we need to find someone who does um, let's go into this maybe someone in this restaurant has jumper cables um, just just have jumper cables and then you don't have to worry about it anymore in fact I've gone a step further and I encourage you to do the same have a self jumping uh, device in case there's nobody else around that can jump your car uh, next thing for you guys who are in uh, climates that you know, get a, a lot of snow, um, make sure that you have uh, chains for your tires or that you have winter tires or uh, maybe if you, even if you aren't in a heavy winter uh, climate, make sure that you're just checking your car. Um, have some sort of all-weather tires at the very least. Um, make sure that you're doing these kind of steps, pulling things out of storage, um, you know, if, if you need a snow tire or snow chains. Um, just make sure that you're, you're, you're starting to, to run through your, your, your checklists. Uh, next thing is flares. Um, flares are a great thing to have, especially at night, and you can set them out um, at, at, behind your stalled out vehicle, your broken down vehicle, especially if you're in a, um, 
a road that you know, the, the traffic is very fast paced so you don't want to get rear-ended um, <laughs> especially if you just broke down so make sure you have some flares in the back of your car in a, in a survival situation if you're broke down and you're just stuck out in the outdoors you can use flares to start a fire um, you know that way you can get a little bit of warmth um, if, if you're if you're stranded outdoors uh, next thing is a uh, full tank of gas but at the very least make sure that you're not going below a half tank of gas and I do this no matter what time type, type of year um, I just make sure that I'm always never going below half tank just in case something happens and there is a fuel shortage um, that kind of stuff happens especially with widespread natural disasters so don't put yourself in that kind of situation um, as well as if you're <laughs> if you're always looking at the at the E and is it, is it above the E is it not below you know below the E you know don't 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 put yourself in that kind of situation you're driving and you're on E all the time and, and that's when you change your gas just make sure you're always at a half tank uh, next thing is to have a bag of sand or cat litter and the reason for this is if you're ever uh, stuck in the snow and you're and you're and you can't get out of it um, if you put down some cat litter the tires will be able to to grip that over the sand and be able to uh, to use that to get some traction and get out of that situation next thing um, if you have a friend who has a vehicle like a truck or something like that um, make sure you always have a, a tow rope in the back of your car so that if, if you do have someone who can pull you out of the situation um, they'll be they'll be able to with it with a tow rope so um, maybe they don't have it in the back of their truck but if you have it in your vehicle you should be good to go or if you have a vehicle like I said it is a truck maybe you can help someone else out um, next is to have a shovel or a I should say sorry a scraper or a brush something like that that can get the snow off your vehicle especially if you park outside and, and it snows overnight um, having something like this will keep you from having to rush to work because you you don't know how to get the snow off your vehicle and you only got it off part of your window and you need to get to work uh, you don't want to run late because of whatever and you're rushing on icy conditions wake up early uh, make sure you get that snow off um, and make sure you're driving slowly because other people might not have taken those steps. Um, so uh, make sure you, you're, you're doing some defensive driving as well. Um, so this video is really targeted to especially newer drivers or vehicle, uh, people who are in a new area where they're not used to winter driving. You know, being from the military, someone who moves around a lot, or and especially being on base, uh, and and I, maybe I've been used to the winter driving and other people aren't i've i've been run into i've been t-boned because someone came from hawaii and they grew up lived in hawaii their whole life gets in the military they get to a place where it snows a lot and then they run into me totaled my car so this happened last year guys uh, so i, I want to i want to get this video out there so that this stuff doesn't happen to you or maybe so that you're not the uh, at, at fault or responsible either next thing is having a blanket so you can have a mylar blanket that reflects you know the majority of your body heat back to you um, but having a wool or synthetic or a mixture of the two type of blanket will repel water and um, will, will also retain that heat uh, make sure you don't have cotton um, they say cotton kills whenever it comes to th this type of climate um, it likes to retain moisture and moisture and cold and it being stuck to your skin that's a disaster you know that's just a recipe for hypothermia and that's something you don't need <laughs> so uh, make sure that you avoid that and the next thing is to have uh, boots mittens you know extra warm clothes in the car if you're like me sometimes you just want to jump in the car real quick uh, drive over get some get something from red box maybe get some food and, and just get home real quick you just want to do that just in one little short errand and you, you don't put on a lot of winter clothes so if you have the extra warm clothes in your car, you don't have to worry if you get if you break down, um, you'd be good to go. So so keep extra stuff in your car, as well as just it, it might be just a good to have in case you forget or in case your family forgets. Um, next item is a flashlight. I'm not talking about a big old flashlight like like I got here. <laughs> you guys can check out my other videos for for flashlights that I recommend. But flashlights are good for both emergencies so you can see and so you can signal others for help as well as you know uh, self-defense uh, kind of situations 
you know, having a flashlight, you, you can not only blind somebody, but you know you can be able to uh, use that um, you know crenulated uh, bezel and the hard uh, structure of it, and be able to bop someone in the head and and hopefully de deter an attacker. So having a flashlight um, has a multitude of, of different uses when it comes to emergencies and uh, things things like that. So so basically. Uh, stay prepared for not only be able to uh, survive something, but also to be able to defend yourself if someone else wants to capitalize on your struggle. Uh, the last thing is, and I'm just comp combining this into one, but have snacks and water. Um, that will not only boost your morale, but it could also save your life if you're there for a long period of time. Um, if you're like me, you might have learned that keeping water, even a gallon of water, can also freeze. So make sure that you're moving the water, you know, rotating it through. Uh, you know, don't always just leave it overnight. Um, make sure you, you're always replacing that uh, so that you, you, you don't end up with frozen water. But, um, you know, having those those types of things in your car all, all these 13 items will just keep you and your family safe this winter season so so please uh, keep these things in mind be sure to check out the links in the description box below uh, share this video with people that you care about and people you want uh, to be safe and uh, and 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 just start going through your checklist now so that you don't have to uh, reap the dire consequences in the future. You don't want to break down, uh, run out, of, your battery dies, all that kind of stuff. That that's that's happened to me. It's happened to people that I care about, um, and it, it happens everywhere every year. So uh, try to mitigate this from uh, from happening to you. Or and if it does happen, have things in place to uh, minimize the effects. Anyways, guys, y'all stay safe out there, and remember, it pays to be repaired. God bless. And the throw on this, the distance, is 1,100 meters, which is 3,608 feet, which is over half a mile. It's 0.68 of a mile.